Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday. Today's video is going to be a try on slash review slash first impressions um, type of video on the brand new line from CoverGirl. So they just dropped a whole new line with cream blushes, um, lip tint oils, highlighters, and foundations. Now, this Clean Fresh line, I keep forgetting the name, this Clean Fresh line is meant for a very natural skin. For my girls out there that like very basic, very minimal makeup, this one is for you. This is supposed to also be a vegan um, formula vegan line it has coconut and aloe and obviously it's cruelty free so we're gonna put these things to the test we're gonna put the foundation to the test the cream blush the lip tint oil as well as their new clean fresh little um, highlighting balm so we're gonna try everything and we're gonna see if this is the new 2020 um, no makeup makeup look that might be a trend we'll see so with that said don't forget to subscribe to my channel it is free 99 make sure you guys also click the little notification bell so you never miss any of my videos I do upload three times a week Monday Miércoles and Friday so make sure you hit that subscribe button you guys and with that said Let's go ahead and we're gonna spill some tea on this line because girl, I have some thoughts. <laughs> going to look a little bit scary at the beginning of this video before we apply foundation and anything because these dark circles girl ain't playing today so I have here my little card it's like a little plastic plastic tray plastic thing this is where all the information is so we're just going to keep that and really quickly I'm going to show you guys how the PR package came because it is so stinking cute so this is the PR package as you can see right here we have all our foundations foundation shades and then when you put it to the side here we have the tinted lip oils then on this side we have all of their new cream blushes and then their highlighters let's dig into this and let me give you guys a little 411 <laughs> Of info so this is called clean fresh skin milk nourishing foundation show off fresh healthy skin with covergirl clean fresh skin milk foundation that is a mouthful formulated without formal formal dehyde okay a bunch of words that I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this lightweight nourishing liquid foundation gives your skin the moisture boost it craves with a delicate infusion of coconut milk and soothing aloe, you'll experience a glowing dewy finish that lasts all day long, blurring imperfections and creating a more even skin tone. Get sheer buildable coverage with 14 expertly designed shade adaptable formulas to match 99% of skin tones and all undertones. This is going to retail for $9.99. So let's take a look at the shades before we go on to the next product. The first shade that we have here is 510 Porcelain. This is very, very light. Next we have Fair, and Fair is just a tad bit darker than Porcelain. Then we have Fair Light. And we have Light. We have Light Medium. Okay, sorry guys, I had to switch my um, lens really quick because the other one was washing out the colors too much. So going into the medium category, this one is the shade medium, uh, 560 medium. Looks a little bit dark, but we might try this one, so I'm going to set it to the side. Next we have medium tan, and obviously this one's going to be a little deeper in color. This one is 570 medium tan. Then we have 580 tan, which is this one right here. I kind of don't want to swatch them all because I definitely want to give these or put these in a giveaway and if I open them I can't do that so I hope you guys don't mind that then one of the last shades in the medium tan category is a tan rich which is this shade right here 
Then we are going to go into the deep category. So we have the shade um, 600 Rich, Rich Deep. Then we have Deep, Deep Dark. And the last shade that we have is a pretty dark shade. And this one is 640 Dark. So again, the shade that seems to be closest to my skin tone and undertone is going to be the shade of 560 medium. So keep in mind again that this isn't going to be a full coverage foundation. If you are a no makeup and makeup kind of girl, this might be like your go-to. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to apply it with a brush. This is a Japanese brush that I found at TJ Maxx some time ago and it honestly has become one of like my favorite go-to brushes so we're just going to build that into the skin mm, that definitely does smell like coconut but it has a weird scent now if you guys want even more sheer coverage go in with a beauty blender but I want to try and get as much cover coverage as I can because I personally don't like um, foundation like this unless I'm going for obviously like a no makeup makeup look, which I never do. I'm always like full coverage. But it's nice because there are days where I just am not in the mood for applying a full face, going in with everything. And if you need to run errands, buy groceries, whatever it is, and you still want to look a little bit put together, this is definitely something that you can grab and just kind of apply and go. Okay, I don't know if it's a foundation, if it's a primer, or if it's my skin. My skin is still recovering from being like dehydrated. I've been using some castor oil on my skin and it's definitely been helping. But I still have some flaking going on in here, here, and then right here just pretty much the same areas here 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 and this foundation is definitely clinging on to those dry patches i'm going to zoom you guys in hopefully you can see it but this does not look good on my skin at all so do you guys see this right here this is a dry area here it's also really dry and flaky and it's just really clinging on to that. Uh, my forehead doesn't look too bad, but I don't really have a lot of dry patches on the forehead. It's just mainly on this part of my face. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit more of the foundation. And I'm going to go in with a sponge to see if maybe that will help it a little bit. Oh my god, my skin looks horrible. Do you guys see how it's like crumbled all up in this area? Okay, I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna start again. I'm gonna take off the corrector because I think it's also messing with the foundation. So I'm just going to take off this whole foundation and we're going to start again. I'm just gonna come back and show you guys how it looks. I'm going to take the same steps and prep the skin because this is not looking good, you guys. Okay, so I wiped off my skin clean and I reprepped it with my moisturizers, mattified just the area where I know I tend to get oily, and I actually mixed medium and medium tan, and I like how the foundation is looking a little bit better. It's still clinging on to the dry areas right here and right here, but it doesn't look nearly as bad as I did. All right, now for the blushes, I'm actually pretty excited for these because I've been really wanting to try um, cream blushes, even though I've tried them in the past and I'm not a fan, but I'm looking forward to these. So these are the Clean Fresh Cream Blush. These are a limited edition. It says, go ahead and blush infused with hyaluronic acid, cover girl clean fresh cream blush. Hydrates and plumps up cheeks for a fresh dewy glow. Available in four versatile high pigmented shades for eight dollars and ninety nine cents. So these are the four. Oh, these are the four shades that we have here, and I'm going to show you guys. 
um, some swatches. So this one is 370 Butterflies. This one is probably the darkest shade out of them all. Then we have 350 Flushed, which is a tangerine color. There is 350 Flushed. Then we have 330 Sweet Innocence, and this is like a baby or a bubblegum pink. And there is the shade. Then the last one is 390 Ripe and Ready, which is more of a pink berry color. And that is the shade right there. I'm gonna take the shade um, 350 Flushed, which is this tangerine color, because you guys know that I usually go for like, um, what's it called? Uh, peach colored blushes. And I'm just going to dab it with my fingers. I'm going to do one cheek first. I'm just going to blend that into the skin, hopefully. I haven't set my skin with any powder because I knew that if I laid the blushes on top, they weren't going to blend so nicely. So I'm actually going to try and use this brush again and see if <laughs> it works because with the foundation, it didn't work so well. For some reason, this line of CoverGirl just doesn't work with a brush. I tried blending the blush out with this brush that we just had here and it wasn't working out so I don't know what's going on. The blush is a little bit hard to blend out. I'm not gonna lie. It is a little patchy when you apply it on the skin so I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. Um, once I apply like a cream bronzer Maybe I'm just going to do an actual powder bronzer, but it's just not really doing what I thought it was going to do. Hmm. Okay, we're just going to move on to the highlighters, you guys, because I'm getting so frustrated with everything that I'm trying on. So whatever, let's go ahead and move on. Let's hope that these cream glow sticks are a little bit better. These are called the Clean Fresh Cooling Glow Sticks. It says that these are also limited edition. Get your glow on with CoverGirl Clean Fresh Cooling Glow Stick. This portable shimmer highlighter instantly cools the skin and leaves it looking positively radiant. Toss the glow stick into your pocket or bag and glide it onto your cheeks, eyelids, anywhere you need a little extra glow. Available in four universally flattering shades. Um, and this one retails for $8.99. So here we have the four shades and let's pray that these look a lot better. So the first shade we have here is 300 Transparent. Ooh, okay, yeah, I definitely get the cooling sensation that they're talking about. Um, I'm just not getting the shimmer that they're talking about. It feels very cold when you apply it. If you guys have ever tried the e.l.f. moisturizing, oh, oh, this smells so good. If you guys have ever tried the e.l.f. moisturizing, um, like twist up stick, it feels exactly like it. So next we have the shade 100 Pink Thrill, which is this one right here. So this one's more of a duochrome. It looks copper, but then you, you like turn it and it's more of a pink. Um, I mean, I guess there's a very subtle glow. Do you guys see that? Very, very subtle. Then we have 400 So Guilty, which is a golden shade. So there's that one there. That one's a little more visible. We have 200 Opal Dreams, which is a very, very light pink. I think I'm actually going to give all these to like my little cousin because she wears like very natural makeup and I think this line would suit her very well. So that is that shade right there. This one is probably the most luminous out of all. Even when you blend it, it's still pretty dewy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the shade So Guilty, which is 400. And I'm going to dab it right here. And then I'm just going to blend it with my fingers. And I'm also going to take some to the eyelids because it does say that you can apply a little bit of this to your eyelids to give you a 
luminous, awaken look. Then the last products that we're going to be testing out are their tinted lip oils, which are these right here. So this is packed with shine and long lasting moisture. This tinted lip oil has you covered from comfy all day wear, full of good for you ingredients like coconut and pomegranate oils. The moisturizing formula also contains vitamin E to keep lips soft, smooth, and conditioned for up to six hours. It's available in six bold, beautiful shades, letting you transform your look anytime you want. So this one is exclusively available at CVS for $8.99. So these are the lip shades. Let's go ahead and uh, do a little swatchy swatch for you guys. Um, P.S. Pretty much all of them are in the pink category, which y'all know I'm not a fan of pink. That's okay. So the first shade is 100 Juiced. This one seems to be just a clear gloss. Yep. Then we have the shade 110 Quench. These smell good. If there's anything that I have to say about this line is that it smells absolutely delicious. So that is Quench. That's a very light, soft pink. This one is actually really, really pretty. Then we have the shade um 130 fresh squeezed oh this one is pretty yep so this one is more of a tangerine color we have a hot pink this one is 120 bad apple and it's a hot hot pink oh this one as well is really really pretty and it's that one at the top so definitely more in the hot pink category then we have Sour Grapes, which is this burgundy shade. kind of matches the color of my sweater, which is this one at the top. Then the last shade that we have here is 140 Swipe Ripe. And this is what it looks like. That one is perfect for the summer, and it's that shade right there. So those are the colors. What I'm going to do is I am going to apply... I'm going to go in with Fresh Squeezed, which is that more tangerine color because I love anything peachy. Alright, so I went ahead and applied a little bit of mascara just to kind of like complete this no makeup and makeup look. So what are my final thoughts on, again, this new... CoverGirl Fresh, Clean Fresh line. The only thing that I really genuinely liked were the tinted lip oils. Like this is something that I personally would reach for. I'm not a fan of the foundation. I'm just gonna say it. If you have dry, patchy skin, flaky skin, this foundation is not for you. So I think I would give this whole line maybe like three stars out of five um, and that's because I really like the lip tint oils and the colors that they came out with I think are really pretty so that is my review you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys um, appreciate my honesty I am a fan of covergirl they always come out with bomb products but this time for me it was just a fail so this is a no-go let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below what do you think of my skin what do you guys think of this line are you going to skip or are you going to buy it thank you guys so much for joining me today i hope you guys have an amazing day or night wherever you are and i'll see you guys in my next video bye